This is Michael VK5ZEA from Port Lincoln in South Australia. Another YouTube video for you and today I'm showing how I created a simple analog to D-Star Bridge using my new Northwest Digital Radio DV3000 board. And that's the board there plugged into the top of my Raspberry Pi or my number three Raspberry Pi. It's a, a neat looking board, very well constructed. It contains the uh, DVSI DV3000 chip, uh, which can do uh, the D-Star vocoder work, plus uh, a lot of um, formats for other digital radio systems as well. It uh, has no lights, it has no LEDs. You don't really know it's doing anything. It's a little bit boring, but um, very neat card nonetheless. I'm using the Ambi server software. Um, you download the source code and compile it and uh, simply a matter of running that command to uh, start the server uh, sudo dot slash db3000d hyphen d which will put it into daemon mode and that will just uh, return the console back to the user and then you can use that ambi server from any other device on your network or indeed over the internet if you open up the appropriate port in your router so people can access the, the software running on the Raspberry Pi. I'm using the Jonathan Naylor uh, dummy repeater for this and in the configuration you'll see um, I've got my call sign in there VK5ZEAX um, the test. The sound card I'm using uh, a USB device called a universal, uh, sorry, a USB radio interface from DMK Engineering. Under dongle, I've got DV3000 selected and the IP address of my Raspberry Pi and the port, which is the default 2460. That can be changed when you start the server. The controller, you can see I've got a URI USB one. And I'll show you the device now, and that's it right there. I normally use this with my All-Star node, um, but the Jonathan Naylor software has supported this device basically since day one for both the D-Star client and the dummy repeater and also his um, uh, sound card repeater will support this hardware for control of a radio. And I'm, the radio I'm using is a Simoco SRM9000 and that's operating in a two meter amateur radio band. Um, so I've... I've linked this up to XRF21 Bravo. Uh, I've got IRC DDB gateway running here as well. And uh, you can see the repeater one VK5ZEAC is linked to XRF21 Bravo. The Canadian D Star net is on at the moment on XRF21 Bravo. It's uh, late Saturday morning here. I believe the net is still in place. And it looks like they're into the United States calls. There's uh, John KD8AGO. Now, what I can do is I can fire up my. Uh, most definitely not D-Star Radio. Uh, certainly the greetings there as always. Uh, wouldn't be can net without you. There we go. And uh, thank you for uh, joining us tonight. Uh, and if we, we look here, we can see that uh, my old IC2350 is receiving. Here, uh, July 1st, which was Canada Day. Celebrated our... Uh, so it still has that uh, and, uh, characteristic D-Star sound, and, uh, yeah, but it's coming over an FM radio. You see the network activity light is blinking on the Raspberry Pi. So the dummy repeater software is talking to the Ambi server running on the Raspberry Pi and processing the audio um, and then passing it back to the dummy repeater which then spits it out through the URI, enables push to talk, makes the FM radio transmit and we hear it. I might uh, do an early check-in. VK5ZEA for an out-of-sequence check-in.
what's happened to the audio. Oh, the audio went down. Not sure what happened there. The audio decided to go to uh, to zero. I'm not sure if that was me he was talking to. Well, maybe not hearing me either. Uh, VK5, oh, is that he did hear me. Uh, Michael, if you're hearing me, uh, we acknowledge you. Uh, good evening and uh, welcome aboard. Please go ahead. Okay, thank you, uh, thank you, Alan. This is Michael VK5ZEA. Yes, I'm trying something very different tonight, uh, and I'm actually shooting a video at the same time. I'm using the uh, the Jonathan Naylor dummy repeater software together with a Northwest Digital Radio DV3000 card, and uh, I'm occasionally coming in to you via an FM radio. I've, I've made an analog to D-Star Bridge, and uh, coming in via a, an old ICOM IC2350 and uh, it seems to be working quite well. Sorry for the out of sequence check-in, I thought I'd take an opportunity to check in while I could and uh, I will wish all my friends in the United States Happy Independence Day and also a uh, one for the Canadian Day which was I think of the first I believe of July. So thanks for letting me check in out of sequence Alan and uh, I'll throw it back to you. Uh, VE3AJB VK5ZEA. All right, uh, very good indeed uh, there, uh, Michael. Well, great to hear you and uh, sounding very nice uh, through the system. No problem at all. Hopefully, you're hearing me uh, on return here. And very good on doing uh, the test with the ABME uh, 3000. Uh, software there and board uh, sounds like uh, it's working quite nicely so uh, and you did mention you're doing a video at the same time so uh, we'll have to uh, take a look at it on YouTube and uh, see how it works out there so anyway sounding good in North America thank you very much and uh, you have a great weekend uh, indeed there in uh, Port Lincoln thanks uh, Michael all right then ladies and gentlemen we've we'll opened it up elsewhere around the world if anybody okay. else is uh, hearing my voice so there you go. It works two ways. I'm um, not sure what happened there. When I transmitted, as soon as I keyed up, the speaker volume went down to zero. So that's interesting. I'll have to do some more experimentation to see what happened there. That's why I didn't hear Alan's reply when uh, he came back to my transmission. Um, not sure why that would happen. I would have to check out uh, what's going on there. But this is how you can put together a simple analog to D-Star Bridge. Uh, you probably shouldn't use it on a D-plus system. They might get a bit cranky. But uh, on the linked systems, which are sort of open to experimentation with uh, this type of technology, uh, it works very well. So this is Michael, VK5ZEA. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again next time. 7-3.